Clostridium difficile is a bacteria that is found throughout the environment. However, in certain individuals it can become a pathogen and usually the inciting event is exposure to antibiotics. So although antibiotics are sometimes good, it can have a secondary effect that can be harmful to an individual. We have tons of bacteria that live in our gastrointestinal tract and if we take an antibiotic we may actually do more harm to some of the normal bacteria. We can alter the microbial diversity that lives within us. These bacteria have a variety of different functions for our health, things that we never thought of before. Bacteria are responsible for making vitamins inside of our gastrointestinal tract, such as folate, vitamin K, and biotin. They can actually boost our immune system. And in particular with infections, they can actually prevent pathogens from residing within our gastrointestinal tract. This is called colonization resistance. So exposure to antibiotics destroys this colonization resistance, and it's easy for a pathogen like Clostridium difficile to recognize that there's no barrier for protection and begin to elaborate a toxin that can injure the colon. The symptoms of Clostridium difficile are then anything that can vary between abdominal cramping, diarrhea, severe abdominal pain, colitis, and in a handful of patients, even death. The biggest way to prevent Clostridium difficile is really to avoid unnecessary antibiotic use. The other way that one can prevent acquiring Clostridium difficile is by adhering to strict hand washing practices, mainly because C. diff is acquired through ingestion. So as long as a patient can wash their hands and be sure that they are not orally ingesting any spores or live bacterium, chances are they can avoid being in that pool of patients that may develop the disease. Thank you.